Uh, welcome to another video. Today I'll be demonstrating how to pair the world's smallest boombox to your device, whether it be an iPhone, a Samsung Galaxy, even an iPad. Um, so it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. And the first thing you want to make sure is that, you know, your boombox, world's smallest boombox is actually fully charged. So I'm going to turn this over real quick. And you see this blue light? That means it's fully charged. If it's red, it's not fully charged. You can still play the speaker if it's showing a red, a red if it's red light, you can still play it, it's still gonna play. Uh, it just depends how much charge you actually have left, which is hard to um, tell because it doesn't really show you. I haven't seen it in the uh, settings, Bluetooth settings when you pair it up through there. And then the second thing you wanna do is that you see this first bu button right here? You wanna actually wanna press it down until you hear the uh, sound, You're like doo 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 sound. Okay, let's turn it over. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on pressing it just to see. I wanna just see something. All right. All right, so you see, so when you hear that sound, that means it should show up on your device, your iPhone, your Samsung Galaxy, whatever you have. It should show up in the settings, your Bluetooth settings on your phone. It should say WS Boombox. Now we're actually going to see. So let's go to that right now and let's see if it showed up. All right. So now that I uh, press that first button down until I hear a sound, do 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 or do 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 do, whatever sound you want to hear a sound. You also should be able, uh, when you're holding that button down, you should already be in your, um, your, your settings of your phone. I had to do it, break this uh, video into parts to actually show you, but you should already be in there. Uh, when you're pressing that first button uh, all the way down until you see it show up on your uh, settings on your phone, your Bluetooth settings in your phone. So here it is right here. It says WS Boombox, world's smallest boombox. That's how it's going to pretty much show up. And what you're going to do is you're going to press it. And then you should get a message that says pair with WS Boombox. Bluetooth pairing request. You want to click pair. And you may want to make sure that your phone is near the, um, the, the, you know, the speaker as well, too, just to make sure it pairs. I'm just taking a little bit of time. Got to be patient. Okay, there it goes. So it just, you feel like it disappeared? It didn't disappear. It just went up to the top. So you just want to go back up to the top. Oh, uh, okay. So it didn't pair. So you want to do this again. So you want to, I'm glad it did this. Because I know a lot of people do have problems with not just this speaker, with other speakers too, not pairing. Oh, it's broken. No, it's not broken. So what you're going to do is just press the WS Boombox again. Okay. All right. It's not working. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on the first button again because it seems like it's not pairing now. So I'm going to hold the first button on the, on the speaker again. Hold it down until it recognizes it again. Hmm. Okay. It's usually very unusual for that to happen, but I'm glad it did happen like this because I know some people do have issues. Okay. There it is. Now it's connected. Sometimes you have to press down the button or sometimes you're going to have to... Oh, it went away again. Man, this speaker just doesn't want to work for me today. Okay. I'm actually going to unplug. I'm actually going to unplug it and see what happens. All right, so now it's connected for audio. I pressed down the first button again, but I'm glad that this happened because this thing can happen, not with just this speaker, but it also can happen with any other uh, speaker you're trying to connect your device to because a lot of people do get frustrated that it's not working, but you're just going to have to continue to like um, keep on repairing, you know, pair it up and pair it up again. So what I did was I just held down the first button that I showed you in the earlier video, just kept on pressing button until you hear that doo -doo -doo sound and then... I press the uh, where it says WS Boombox, and now it's connected for oil. Sometimes you're going to have to do that. 
It doesn't mean that your speaker is broken. It doesn't mean that at all because I know people get frustrated and then they, you know, write me and says, hey, it's not working. Yeah, sometimes it does take time. And I'll pair it with device from any device, whether this world's smallest boombox or any other device, speaker, whatever. Sometimes it could take time. I've, I've done it with head, headphones are notorious for that. You're trying to pair it up and it's not working and you're like, oh, they, the headphone must be broken. No, you just got to keep on trying. So now we're going to go into my um, Apple Music app and see, make sure this thing is playing. There you go. It's playing now. So I'm glad that this happened because um, I know people do have issues with it. So I wanted to show you, you know, some troubleshooting steps in order to get the, the speaker to finally clear. All right, so it did work. Another thing I'm going to say too, um, once you got it, the, the speaker fully paired, unplug it, you know, because I had it, you know, plugged in while I was doing this demonstration. It was kind of necessary. You didn't have to do that. But, you know, try all the troubleshooting steps I did if you're having trouble, but that's it. It's pretty simple. Usually it works for me the first time. You know, I'm glad I didn't work the first time this demonstration. So to show you, you know, the necessary steps to get it working. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for um, watching this video. Like and subscribe. Like, I'm very good with electronics. I used to work for Apple. I used to work for Bose. So if you have any issues, not with just with this speaker, with any type of speaker or anything, any electronic device, you might want to need a Roku, Apple TV. I'm good at troubleshooting those type of things. You know, I used to do uh, technical support. Um, so I'm kind of used to doing it. And I love solving those type of issues. You have those issues, write me. doesn't matter, you know, comment, you know, but definitely like and subscribe. I want to do more videos like this. Uh, show you people how to uh, troubleshoot certain, you know, electronic devices that you may have in your house. And that's pretty much it. And um, have a good day. And thank you for watching the video.